Wolong Fallen Dynasty is a brand new day and date game released on Xbox this past week and it's available in the cloud. This one comes from Team Ninja, the studio best known for Ninja Gaiden and the Dead or Alive fighting series. I can assure you this one is nothing like them. If you have ever played Sekiro then this is what Wolong Fallen Dynasty resembles in art style and gameplay. The game will run you through some basic settings options in the beginning and within this is the option to prioritise frame rate or resolution. We've gone for frame rate in today's video because let's face it, the resolution on Xbox Cloud Gaming doesn't really get any better, does it? Starting a new game will play you a very graphic and grotesque cutscene before asking you to customise your character. There is a good range of options available here and since this is a third person action RPG then it may be worthwhile spending some time here. For the purpose of this video and knowing I probably won't ever play this game again after today, I randomised my character until I found a somewhat presentable one. Getting over to some actual gameplay and I've brought out the handy controller cam for this one. In the beginning the latency actually feels pretty good but you'll see from time to time the resolution automatically adjusts as the Xbox blades try to prioritise a smooth experience which I expect and accept with where they are right now. The main reason for the controller cam is for us to judge whether this is playable with around 30 milliseconds to the data centre or if I just suck at these types of games or not. Having watched it back and from what you'll see in this video it's probably a bit of both. From time to time I can get lucky and hit timely parries on enemies and other times it's a complete misfire, something you really can't afford to do in this game. I hated almost every second of this test which means Team Ninja has made a very compelling and challenging game for those of you out there who thrive in this level of difficulty. When I say hate, it's not because this is a bad game, it's because I just don't like this genre. Repeatedly dying and having to have such precise and timely actions just isn't my idea of fun but I do understand that this can be very rewarding because when I manage to pull it off on the odd occasion, it does make you feel good. Then I die very soon after and it's back to hating again. It's very hard to tell considering the quality we have here if the game is of good graphical quality. For sure it will look better on a console or PC but as for the overall quality of the world, textures and details, I can't say due to the poor showing we get from Xbox on the cloud gaming side. I think you will agree we are probably playing with low to medium details at best since we prioritised the frame rate. To give them their due, it does feel like a fairly stable 60fps. Absolutely, we get dips here and there but for the most part, the frame rate was never an issue. From the early part that I played, I would say you would be doing very well to compete with the latency in attempting to complete this game on Xbox Cloud Gaming. That's not to say it can't be done if you are closer to one of their data centres and have a better experience than my average at best one I have right now. I'll let you see me die a few more times so you can interpret this without me yapping over the top. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. No need to go too heavy on the fact I suck at this game, I already know that. Thanks for watching folks, see you again soon.